Hello people of the internet and welcome to How to Snooker version 1.1 That's right, we're revisiting How to Snooker And it has been released with a new version that is now downloadable So I can use my DX story, wonderful DX story to record this here video And understandably and expectedly on the last video I've got a lot of hate as well as a lot of comments that were not agreeing with me but were not hateful so thank you for those comments it's actually really good engaging discussion and stuff I have them pulled up on my second monitor on the side over here so we can always check up oh, like I managed to hit the ball I hit the ball I am I'm now playing I, I'm playing snooker while having the menu pulled up well that's uh, hey my score is still zero so uh, I yeah I think I fucked up hold on a second Alright, I'm back, I had to <laughs> restart the game because I could not figure out how to get the menu back up. Anyways, welcome to Revisit How to Snooker and here we are, we actually have a we actually have a menu now, which is good. Starting off, we got controls. Look at that, controls, we actually have controls now. I did not aware that you can scroll, I was, I did not aware, I don't even speak today. I was not aware that you can do the scroll to get the teeny shot, shot. What is with my talking today? Oh, holy crap. I'm gonna have to edit this like crazy. So as you can see, there are controls that I was not aware of, like teeny shot and toggle. toggle. Holy crap. This is gonna be a bad recording session. Toggle music, reset game, how to play and info. All this stuff that wasn't really here before. I, I'm not sure. I, have, I haven't gone back to check this if this was an option, but if music was an option in the previous game, holy crap. I... I spend too much time listening to this elevator music, I swear to god. Anyways, let's check out the info. The first game by Daniel, you can read all this stuff, it's beautiful. It's definitely beautiful. See, George Street Shuffle. Kevin McLeod, I was right! I was right about the music person. Anyways, that was the info, and then H is how to play. And uh, so this is this. So, some lovely persons in the comment section below the previous video. I can actually... Yeah, there we go, Samantha Burt. Actually pointed out that snooker is supposed to be a two-player game. I was not aware of that, so the more you learn, the better, right? I was not aware of snooker is a two-person game. Who snookers? Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, feature I was not aware of is, of course, that you can move the ball around here. But as you can hear, moving the ball around, and that was totally fucked up. Moving the ball around here is glitchy, as Dan said so himself, and you can not ball. <laughs> How is this even up? There we go. That was nice. They so can dodge balls around there. As well as now he's added a circle instead of the cursor. Because now, actually, it works. You can properly time out your shots and whatnot and make them all not... Oh, don't go in, you bastard. Woo! Fuck! So now you can perfectly align your shots and not make them poopy like before. Anyway, so apparently in snooker, you're supposed to hit the red bull in first. Then a color, then a red ball, then a color, then a red ball, then a you get the point. I think, I hope. I don't get the point still, so I just put all the red balls and then put all the colorful balls and be, be wonderful like that. Alright, so Dan said he doesn't want to use his little the little line here to match out your shots because you're supposed to use your pull cue. I'm sorry, Dan. I, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't, I really don't understand what I'm, <laughs> what I'm doing right now. Anyway, let's try a Pot this ball. Ah! Oh, so MLG! So MLG. So now I guess I'm supposed to pot the yellow ball? Let, let, let's try that. Let's see how that works out. Ah! Oh, please go in. Please go in so I can be MLG. You bastard. Hey! There we go. So apparently that's what I was supposed to do. And now get the red ball in. So let's get the red ball in. I hit the blue ball. Is that what I meant to do? Cut it out! So, to discuss a few things that I have... In my previous video, I have said that I do not like. Well, Dan talked about them and called them features in this game. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Anyway, so... Wh which one should we start off with? I don't know, let's think. Uh, how about we start off with the one where if you hit the ball while it's moving thingy. So Dan said he likes to make quick games. He likes his games to be quick, fun, easy to play. And that is why he has selected that you have the option 
to hit the ball while it's still moving kind of deal. See, it's still moving right now, but I could hit it. And Dan said that's a feature. He added that on purpose because he doesn't like waiting. Uh, that's an interesting feature, honestly. I mean, I, I took it as a glitch or a anti-feature, as you will. And it turns out to be a feature, so that's something I, I was not aware of. Apparently, doesn't want to have that a thing, but whatever. That's live. I can live with. What I can't live with, however, is the fact that the shadows on the balls are a feature. Holy crap! Let me. Oh, I potted the. B b fuck. Yeah, apparently. The freaking shadows on the balls here that are swaying around and moving around are a feature. Many people pointed out in the comment section below my last video that it's a feature of a swinging light above the table. And then Dan in his video mentioned that this is a swinging light above the table because that's how you play pool slash snooker slash billard slash whatever the hell you want to call this game. With. Apparently, everywhere he played, there was a swinging light above his snooker table. I have no idea where the hell he played. I, did I really just hit... Wow. No idea where Dan played, but definitely not in places that are very high of quality, because... Honestly, I never played a billiards pool, whatever, snooker. I never played snooker, but I never played billiards or pool or whatever. Where there was a swinging light above the table. So honestly, that sounds like a very shady place if you're playing snooker. I potted the ball in. I thought I could. Okay. Very shady place must be if you're playing and the light swinging around. Anyway, that is still a huge freaking annoyance to me. Like, at least now, the textures are a bit more HD ish. So I can sort of see. Yeah, so I can now see the textures properly because they're more HD. Because it's not a web version. That's nice. So. That's a thing. But it still annoys me less so. Than in the web version. Because for whatever reason. Like now it doesn't annoy me as much. Due to the fact that they're in the high. Wow that's a miss again. So they annoy me much less now. That they're in higher quality. But it's still an annoyance. I, I don't know, it's it's probably just me. I'm probably the only one complaining about this, but it really drives me crazy. These freaking lights are ridiculous. Like, please have an option to turn that shit off because I cannot take this swayingness around thing. It really is annoying. It throws me off as well and makes me motion sick, which is nice. So I just referred to the comment section. Oh, I put the wrong ball. I just referred to the comment section. Below my last latest latest video, which is actually a thing. It should be unless I uploaded something in between uh, the video of the original How to Snooker. And Mr. Carlin McKenzie uh, has told me that I'm being too harsh on the game since it's only an early prototype of his very first game. I must agree I was being a bit harsh, but there's a reason I was being a bit harsh. Oh, bit. A lot harsh. Is I... Ah, oh, crap, I just know it's an issue. There is a DX story frames per second window on which ball I'm supposed to hit on top of that window in the top corner. So, I don't know, I think I'm supposed to hit green? I can't tell. Anyways, <laughs> so Mr. Carlin, I probably mispronounced your name, my bad, uh, has said that I'm being way too harsh on the game. Way too harsh on the game. And that there is no rule against hitting the ball while it's moving so i told that i'm pretty sure i said a few times during the previous video that i'm not very 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 much on the rule side of pool billards and then a wonderful person named dr two has corrected mr carly mckenzie and said that you're not allowed to strike a ball when other balls are moving so that's wonderful i'm not sure which ball i'm is that it is, is it? I think it's either brown or blue, I can't tell. But he corrected him and said that that is what you need to do. Yeah, you cannot pot balls while they're moving. So there you go, that dispute is handled right, I hope. Maybe. Anyways, uh, yeah, 
I think I got pretty much everything covered. Yes, the wonderful clapping of the clappity clappity claps. There we go. Pull it that one in. I honestly can't remember. I had a list somewhere. I actually made a list of what I'm supposed to talk about. Hey, I won. And he added the overall efficiency, which is nice. But I had a list somewhere of topics I needed, I needed to cover in this video. But I lost it. So that's a thing that happened. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. This music is driving crazy. Oh, yes. The silence. I could not take it anymore. I have been recording for how long now? Holy shit, wait, <laughs> way too long. I should probably be wrapping up soon or editing this down like a lot. 40 minute recording, over. How did I manage to talk so much? Holy crap, anyways. Yeah, I had to turn the music off. It's driving me crazy. I cannot listen to that freaking soundtrack over and 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 over. Anyways, I'll try to wrap it up. So many people complained that I was too harsh on the game last time, blah, 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 blah. Well, what is my verdict this time, you might be wondering? It's a good game now. It's not a shitty game. Well, kind of was a shitty game last time around. It's not a perfect game. There's way better pool games out there. I'm not sure about Sluker because I've never fucking played Sluker games, but there's way be better pool games out there. But this is a, it's a playable, enjoyable now. It's definitely, definitely, definitely much more enjoyable than the previous iteration of the game. So it got that going for it. And it's a legit game now. You can download it. Link in the description as always. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It, it's playable now. Shadows still piss me the f off, but music's mutable, so that's good. Now there's a ball thingy, so you can aim your shots better, as I missed the ball completely. And that's pretty much it, to, I think. I, I don't even know. I've been going for too long to remember what I even talked about in this video. I'm pretty sure I replied to some comments and uh, talked about people in the comment section. So make sure to engage in the comment section as I will be there popping in and talking with the peoples. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, why don't you check out the previous version, uh, previous video on the previous version. If you haven't done so already, you will see the differences between the games, which is always nice to see, isn't it? And uh, check out my other videos. And subscribe and like and comment because I'll be in the comment section with you guys for sure. Like most of the time I try to be in the comment section of people. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't even know what else to say. I don't know what I said in this video. It's been a long, long time. I am still rambling on expecting that there's someone still watching this video. There, I know there isn't, but there's probably no one still. Yeah, there's no one. I'm talking to myself and I. Yeah, I'm probably talking to myself. I might as well, it's like, it's like your live stream and there's only no one there. It's only just, it says like there's two viewers, but it's just you on your computer and you on your laptop, just chilling there, waiting for people. But there's no one there, so you're just talking to yourself, live streaming with yourself, by yourself, to yourself. That's fun. I have no idea what this ramble on. Anyway, if you listen to this entire rambling, I hope I cut it down to like a decent length of like 15 minutes or something because this video is fucking like otherwise it's holy shit almost an hour long. So if I cut it down enough that would be good. And if you listen to this entire ramble tell me in the comment section below by saying banana balls because that's always something. So banana balls in the comment section you listen to the whole thing. Anyways I'll be seeing you guys later. Super M signing out and peace. Hey there, thank you very much for watching the video. You can check out the super view of light on the left hand side of the screen as well as the original how to snooker video on the right hand side of the screen. Check them both out, pretty cool videos. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking the giant subscribe symbol on screen right now. Anyways, take care.